Welcome back to Quick Statics Answers. Today's question is, determine the moment of each of the three forces about point B. First, split F1 into X and Y components using the given angle. By doing so, we get F1Y equals 216.5 newtons and F1X equals 125 newtons. Then, we split F2 into X and Y components using the given angle. By doing this, we get F2Y equals 259.8 newtons and F2x equals 150 newtons. Afterwards, we split F3 into x and y components using the given angle ratio. By doing this, we get F3y equals 400 newtons and F3x equals 300 newtons. Next, we'll get the resultant moment of each force about point B. To find the moment of F1 about B, we will look at both the x and y components of the force. The moment produced by the y component is 216.5 newtons times 3 meters in the counter-clockwise direction, and the moment produced by the x component is 125 newtons times 4 meters in the clockwise direction. Adding these together gives us a resultant moment of 150 newton meters in the counter-clockwise direction. To find the moment of F2 about B, we will only consider its x component since the line of action of the y component passes through point B and therefore will not generate a moment. Multiplying the x component of the force by its distance form B, which is 4 meters, we get 600 newton meters in the counterclockwise direction. Now let's find the moment of F3 about B. Since both of the lines of action of the components of F3 pass through point B, the resultant moment is 0 newton meters. And there you have it. Quick statics answers.